today I'm going to do this tour of the city of Sartoga. Hi, I'm Amol Heda with Keller Williams in Sartoga and author of Thriving Through Ownership. So we just saw that Sartoga started and on the right side is Cupertino and on the left side is Sartoga. We are going to enter into Cupertino just to show how the housing is getting different. Uh, this is the upper portion of Cupertino where the lot densities are much lower. I mean, getting starting to get lower, not exactly lower. Uh, but yet, these are all tracked homes, and you will see larger homes, but track homes with larger lots. Uh, Cupertino is the next door city of Saratoga. It's just to the northwest of Saratoga, home to Apple and a lot of other startup companies. We are now going to turn to the left to start going out of Cupertino into Saratoga and that should start my tour of Saratoga. So to the north of Saratoga you will see Cupertino which is to the northwest. To the north is the western portion of San Jose. Both of these areas Cupertino and West San Jose are serviced by the Cupertino Union School District and the school district is weighs heavily particularly in the San Francisco Bay Area on what drives the home prices. So from Sir, uh, Cupertino now I am going to start entering into Saratoga and more than me you are going to start noticing the difference in how the homes are built. So we are going into the area where Saratoga of this portion of Saratoga is serviced again by the Cupertino School District. And just see the amount of difference. Of course Cupertino's that area that we just left was wooded but the moment you get into Saratoga it becomes fairly more wooded. And if you notice on the right side you will see right and left you will see the sizes of the homes increase the lot sizes are much bigger Saratoga typically has about 12 to 14 thousand square feet in lot sizes and the home sizes tend to get much larger this particular portion of Saratoga is much more flat and we are going to start seeing a much steeper section and the steeper it gets the lot sizes increase but and the homes also get much better views and then you will start seeing homes are built on steeper land so even though the lot sizes sometimes are huge like 30 40 acres it does not really give you that much flat land to use so right in the front you are seeing views of the blue hills the reason they are called blue hills is today is a day unlike typical saratoga day um, it's not it's cloudy a bit and the fact that it's cloudy it's making the day look as if oh do we have clouds all the time in Saratoga not the case at all most of the times it's nice sunny and warm so we are going to turn and get onto one of the main streets of Saratoga which is which connects to Sunnyvale and the street is Sunnyvale Saratoga you will see that area come up shortly but just watch the kind of size of the lot that you see in Saratoga 
so now let's get into the more populated area actually we are continuing going to continue from this cupertino portion of saratoga the city is saratoga but services being serviced by the cupertino city and we are going to enter into the other side where it takes us into saratoga serviced by cupertino school district by another school which is lindbrook this particular area that we are just leaving goes to monta vista high school so now i'm going into the other side both of these areas have a similar characteristic flatter lots larger sized homes as compared to the track homes that are built on 6000 square feet you see a demographically demographic change on the lot sizes and you start seeing about 12000 to 15000 18000 square feet of lot sizes like Cupertino's Apple headquarters is within 10 minutes drive. Uh, Cupertino, uh, the Google headquarters is within half an hour drive, even during commute hours. Uh, Facebook from here is uh, no more than uh, 35, 40 minutes. In fact, their Sunnyville campus is even closer. So you will see a lot of these bigger companies, uh, people living from those, uh, working in those companies, living in this area. And so I'm going to turn into this Pride's Crossing neighborhood, um, which goes to the Lindbrook High School area, but the city is Saratoga. Again, this area is also pretty wooded, the beauty of this area is that it's all flat and yet the lot sizes are in the 12,000 to 18,000 square feet size. So you see a lot of these properties have oak, spruce, pines, redwoods and all these evergreen kind of trees. What that does is it gives this area a very good feel of greenery so I'm going to turn back and start going back into the other areas so right next to this Pride's Crossing on the west is the Blue Hills because the Blue Hills are prominently visible from there to the south and uh, on the east is the Campbell Union School District. So the moment you come into these areas, so the Campbell Union School District, uh, uh, Moorland and Campbell Union School District is also one other promising area. And as you turn right from here into Brookview, again, this is Saratoga, but this portion of Saratoga is serviced by the Moorland School District. So the Moorland School District has the benefit of being very close to a lot of shopping that goes around in this area, the Westgate Shopping Mall and the Saratoga and Lawrence has a whole uh, range of shopping and this area gets you into that shopping neighborhood so all this Brooklyn and all these things these streets they belong to uh, the, uh, the Campbell Moreland School District 
वेरी प्रॉमिसिंग अगेन बट नॉट द कोर्स आर्टो का सो आफ्टर दिस आई एम गोइंग टू एंटर इन टू द क्विटो रोड क्विटो ओक्स क्रॉसिंग क्विटो ओक्स नेबरहुड विच इज अ क्विंट लिटल कमर्शियल जोन commercial uh, town and country style shopping in this area so we would be going into that one from here the other beauty of saratoga is because it is so widely spread out uh, it has the luxury of having huge park areas and these huge park areas allow people to enjoy the neighborhood the heavily wooded areas and gets a lot of people that have pets tend to prefer living in saratoga i'm going to show you how things are changing so a lot of saratoga because of it being high income neighborhood uh, people buy older houses and tear them down and convert them into newer home or newer housing you will see a lot of this continuous upgrade process uh home being rebuilt uh going on in this particular neighborhood so we are getting back on to cox which is a larger connecting road between saratoga avenue and sunnyvale saratoga and so if you notice this is going to be a fast street with a lot of cars flowing both ways even though it's just a sing uh, two lane road like one lane going up and one lane coming down uh, yet the speeds on this road are high because it's a long connecting road and does not have much blockage on either side not many streets pouring into this area so like i said we are going into the quito oaks commercial neighborhood and you are seeing this town and country style uh commercial properties going on in this area they have a very quaint um what you would call a, vac a vacation destination kind of a feel because they are painted brown they are meant to match with the wooded styling of the neighborhoods uh, of the amount of trees that you see and everything and so it gives you a very quaint feeling even though you are going into a shopping area i wanted to highlight one other aspect of saratoga every other street of saratoga has a lot of churches and you will see uh, as i keep touring you will see a lot of churches coming up our way churches parks schools all of those so this is some commercial portion uh which has like small medical offices and uh, 
small, very small businesses. Uh, even on the right, some uh, Starbucks and restaurants and whatnot. So, and this portion does not really get serv serviced by the core Saratoga area uh, schools. So I'm going to leave this area and get going into the Golden Triangle area of Saratoga. So again, if you look on your left, you will see a lot of parks, park space around in this neighborhood. Just around here, around the corner, is the Maria McAuliffe School, Elementary School. So again, watch. You will continuously see the view of the Blue Hills in the backdrop. It's just, it adds to the serenity of the city. And apart from being uh, having all the huge lot sizes and such, you will see the beauty of these blue hills continuously there. You will see a lot of these mature redwoods and other trees around in this area. So I'm just about to start getting wrapped up of the peripheral neighborhoods of Saratoga itself. All these three neighborhoods that I have just told feed to the Cupertino School District or the Campbell Moreland School District. These do not feed to the core Saratoga schools. Um, the Cupertino uh, Monta Vista neighborhood, uh, uh, School District, which feeds to Monta Vista, uh, has the city as Saratoga, the zip code as 95070, but uh, the kids there go to the Monta Vista School District. The next one that we just came, the zip code is again 95070, the city is Saratoga, but it gets serviced by the Lindbrook School District, uh, Lindbrook High School. And the area that I'm just going to leave and go into the core Saratoga, this one gets serviced by partly by Prospect High, partly by Westmont High. And this area gets serviced by Moreland School District and Campbell School District. A combination of those depending on where the home is located. So right here to your left you are going to see a community called the Bell Grove. This is new homes built in the 2000s. And this is com a community that goes to Saratoga. The one on the right side that we just saw, uh, uh, Vine Hill, uh, that community does not go to Saratoga. That goes to the Campbell Moreland School District. And we are seeing the bridge in the picture. This is 85. This is a main thoroughfare actually for Saratoga to be connected to the north and south. Um, 85 is a connector that starts from 101 below Evergreen at the bottom of the Silicon Valley and goes up all the way into Mountain View and connects it back to 101. So it's just a feeder street, feeder freeway to 101. And now, as soon as we cross 85, we are going to get into the Golden Triangle area of Saratoga. So I'm going to go from here and turn to the right. To the left is the Fruitvale area and to the right is the Golden Triangle area. Again, as you might see, you see all the blue hills in the backdrop. Blue Hills, a lot of mature trees. That's a characteristic and huge lot sizes in these areas. 
so as I turned right this is the golden triangle area of Saratoga large lots huge mature trees larger sized houses amazing quaint quiet feel and right from here you can go to work to any of a large companies around here within 15 or 20 minutes so as I told you earlier a lot of homes are being bought remodeled upgraded or completely being torn down and rebuilt not going to go very deep into the golden triangle itself because largely it is going to be the same characteristic that you are going to see going into golden triangle. The reason I'm focusing so much on Saratoga is my office itself is in Saratoga. I have lived very close into this neighborhood and I have done several transactions around in this area. So it just gives me a very good understanding of what it is like to be in this neighborhood. So as we go around in this area, I'm going to go to the Saratoga High School so that you can see where it is situated. So all these large homes, quaint streets, gives it a village-like feel. So Saratoga was originally, was originally established and given the name because there was a spring, the water from which had the same chemical characteristics as the water from Saratoga out there in the New York area. And because the water quality was the same, this area was also called as Saratoga. Uh, Saratoga. That's where the name originates for Saratoga. Now, um, after that, Saratoga had a paper mill, um, some industries and a lot of business growing big in the area. After which it got converted into being a very nice agricultural town because of the amount, number of orchards that were here in this area. Later on, the city of San Jose started expanding and they wanted to annex Saratoga into San Jose. Saratoga was formed by William Campbell
So right in the front, you're seeing the dormers. And these are the, all the kind of properties that you will see in Saratoga. So to continue, Saratoga was then an agricultural town with a lot of orchards. And you will see one community orchard even now exists in Saratoga. Um, I think it's a shared one. Uh, and the community itself, uh, uh, people can register ahead in advance uh, to go and pick the fruits from the orchard. So now we are going to be driving into the area where you will see the Saratoga High School. We are going to be driving through the Saratoga High School. So this whole area that we are going through is the Golden Triangle part of Saratoga. You must be noticing the slope at which things start changing. So, after this, we are going to go into the Fruitvale area, and you will notice how the landscape changes there. You'll suddenly see a lot of steep streets. Um, that same area will start showing huge lots, very large sized homes and that area still goes to the Campbell Moreland School District. So the Sardoga High is home of the Falcons, that's their team. I typically used to joke with my clients that, you know, if you want to buy in Saratoga, maybe you yourself would be driving some Honda Civic or something. But by the time your kid goes to high school, you'll probably need to buy a BMW for your kid. Because most of the kids here drive those kinds of cars and then you don't want your kid to feel left out from the crowd and that's what I keep warning people about so now we are so just see you barely even notice that there is a home around here and then suddenly you start seeing a line of houses and but yet a lot of mature old trees and greenery is the thing about Saratoga. Now I'm going to turn back onto the main street of Saratoga and I'm going to go away from the downtown and into the Fruitvale School District, the Fruitvale neighborhood of Saratoga. Part of it is served by Campbell, like I said just now, and part of it is served by Saratoga. The other thing that I want to tell you is that Saratoga School District, the high school, is a joint union school district between Los Gatos and Saratoga. So just notice, churches, like I said, to the right. This is the Saratoga Community Orchard and there is a community harvest that you can sign for. This is the Saratoga Library. Again another church. And now we are going to go drive towards the West Valley College and the Saratoga City Hall. So these are located in the Fruitvale neighborhood and Fruitvale neighborhood is split into two parts, the Fruitvale West and the Fruitvale, uh, 
fruit well west and the fruit well so to the right you are seeing this central park heritage orchard of the city of saratoga right after the, uh, my, this this was uh, we just saw a library on our left uh, and on the right side you are seeing a view of the backdrop of the blue hills absolutely and then this is the saratoga community school this is the civic theater and at the junction of allendale and fruitdale uh, is the saratoga city hall we just passed it and on the right side is the redwood middle school and now i'm going to get inside westgate uh, west valley college which is a community college of saratoga it's a huge institution uh, from outside we don't even realize how big of a school this is but if we keep driving it will take about 10 minutes just to complete the tour of this huge school district uh, this college community college so we are just going to do a tour of the parking lot and the front main building where it shows the emmy fox technology center and then we are going to start going out so as you might see it's located in a very scenic part of the town the only school that's even more scenic around here is uh, the foothill community college that's even more scenic and apart from that uh, stanford has a very huge setting even that's very wooded uh, and stanford actually has a very pretty campus i'm going to get into the u turn only area because i want to take you to an area where at the end of this tour you are going to see a trail but let's first go to this montag drive and in this fruitwell west area you will see that the streets don't have a divider line and just look at one or two of these sample homes around in this area look at the mature trees and you will not miss how these big lots and big homes come about in this area like i said this particular area has a lot of new home construction going on and again this is another orchard so i'm going to turn back at the okanogan court because I need to go and show you the fruit well part and like I promised I'm going to look at the trail that I'm going to show in the map of Saratoga but some of these trails so just like you just saw one trail going from here between the homes um I'll be showing a trail and I want you guys to see where that trail actually goes. So from here we are going to go back onto Fruitvale. then as we turn right 
we are going to go into an area where you will see a huge senior living facility of Saratoga. So see what I meant by Saratoga being a place for fortunes. Even today you are seeing peaches and fruits being sold in this area. So now I am going to turn left on to the San Marcos Road. The one that I just had to skip was going, taking me into the college. But now we are going to turn into San Marcos Road where you will see the Saratoga Retirement Community. Again, this is a huge facility. Fellowship Plaza, Saratoga Retirement Community. Just to warn you that this cloudy weather is not typical of the Silicon Valley and it's summer. Today is 1st of August. So we are at the peak of summer just now. So just see, I'm going to try to drive into this area so that you just get a huge view of the building itself. So this is the Odd Fellows home. we are going to start turning back so now we are going to go into the next street in Fruitvale and you are going to see how the landscape changes look at the right the slopes have increased already so the utilizable portions of a lot even though these are huge have changed you cannot really utilize a very steep sloping lot and because you cannot utilize that lot that remains wooded and you cannot build in those areas and that prevents you from building larger size properties you mean uh, uh, a building lot of homes but you can have a larger size property actually uh, because the lot sizes are much bigger so this crisp avenue has a trail a very small trail and goes it, it looks very old and quaint I will be posting a few pictures of that trail when it, you may not even think that it's a trail but now look at the kind of view of that we are getting of Mount Hamilton here because of the slope and this is the city of Saratoga pedestrian and equestrian trail set this deep inside the city and for most people we might not even realize that this trail exists and on the other side this street becomes San Marcos it connects to San Marcos but um, the trail comes all the way from that side so we actually while doing this area uh, we did this trail and you see this steep slopes 
and the huge lot sizes starts giving them a character a view and the houses look very beautiful because of that so now we turn back on to fruitvale and we are now going to go across highway 9 which connects saratoga and uh, los gatos and that portion is the glen una neighborhood to our right so now you see how the slopes are getting steeper my car is driving on slopes up and down and I'm going to turn right, go into the Glen Una neighborhood and I'm going to particularly focus on driving you through the Montalvo Arts Center. Again, Montalvo Arts Center itself has a small hiking trail which goes up a mile and comes down a mile but it's not famous for its trails Montalvo Arts Center was built way back in 1912 if my memory serves me right and uh, it has served as a center for performing arts even now you can go to Montalvo Arts website center website and you can see what live programs they have going in if you notice to the right you will see how deep the street goes the area around the street goes so this is a pretty wavy terrain um, and we are going to after this Glenuna area we are going to go into the Zardoga Hills and I'm going to show you how steep the ride is. So now I'm going to go into the Montalvo Arts site. And here, montalvoarts.org is the website. And that's where you can see. Just look at the majestic entry to the Montalvo Arts Center. And yet, this is a residential neighborhood for at least another 0.75 miles. Saratoga has a blend of modern, large and some very uh, conventional home styles like you see the Cape Cods, you see the Tudors, you see the uh, Gregorian, you see all of these different home styles in this particular area. questions about Saratoga or living in the Silicon Valley or which areas offer amenities that you like or you care for you know who to call so we are now entering this Montalvo Arts area. These are residential homes around here. And now this is the Montalvo Arts Center. One way street only because just see the kind of slope that we are dealing with. So they could barely squeeze in a street that goes one way.
you will see some pictures and some links to the Montalvo Arts Center at the bottom of this video. And this is the Montalvo Trail, Creek Side Studio. We are back out of the Montalvo Arts area and on to Highway 9 going north towards Sertor. Remember, we had just entered this far out on this side into the Montalvo Arts area. Sartoga has three main streets, Sartoga itself, Sartoga Avenue, which connects all the way into Santa Clara, Santa Clara, San Jose, Campbell and then Sartoga, that's how that street is connected and this highway 9 goes straight into Sunnyvale, goes all the way up to 101 and uh, the number 3 street is this highway 9 which connects Sartoga to Los Gatos. So what you see out there on the right side is uh, this downtown Sartoga but I am going to take you into the Sartoga hills area now. On the right side is some of the higher density housing and you will see the townhouses show up on the, in a minute or two and on the left side is Sartoga Elementary School so not sure if I said this already but Sartoga is an open school district you don't have to belong to a certain neighborhood to go to a certain elementary school district so on the right side you are seeing a lot of these townhouses And beyond that is the Saratoga downtown, which we will be going in as we get back onto the street. This is the Madronia Cemetery. And then as we leave that and start driving in, you will see a very zigzag steep road, Bullman Road. This goes pretty high and the lot sizes start going larger and larger in size because these lot sizes just don't allow you to build anything on these properties. 
So now see how steep I'm going to start going. And the road is narrow, undivided. There is no divider to tell you whether you should keep to the left or the right. I learned from, uh, from my uh, experience long back that when you're driving on these streets that don't have a divider in case you get into an accident, um, there's nobody to say that you were on the right side or the wrong side. And so you're on your own uh, to defend yourself. Even if you're on your side and somebody comes and hits you on the left, uh, you'll see that. All this work that you're seeing just now is the fire department work uh, because California is going through a huge wildfire um, exercise these days and it's uh, my pg and is putting every bit of effort to make sure that the trees don't cut the wires and they don't break uh, uh, cut down the electricity uh, so uh, trying to deal with the power situation trying to deal with the fire situation and that has resulted the cost to pg and and the costs that insurance companies are paying for the fire is what is resulting into these uh, the insurance is going higher for all of us we are seeing the insurance premiums going very high and that's the result of all these fires so whatever you are seeing around here just now the trucks that are taking care of the trees and the heavily wooded areas uh, it's all because of the of pg and his effort to control and uh, bait in the fire so this is the bowman road uh, you must have seen how my turns are going in a dizzying way um, it's not the most comfortable road to climb uh, but what does that mean to you why would people still want to come on such a steep road because the higher you go the better view you get and you are going to see that uh, if I get a vista point or two, I'll definitely pause, see how close we can get to the vehicles when they are turning around. see these hairpin bends that turn like a sharp middle fortunately as you get higher these turns go wider in the lower areas they don't have that much space but on the higher elevations they have a little bit more space and so they make it a little bit more comfortable uh, let's look from here. There are some places where we can peek into the uh, beauty of the Silicon Valley around here. So we are going to go to this on orbit road and you will see that we'll have a clear view of the entire Silicon Valley in some areas here. These cards should tell you that even at this steep slope, you are seeing homes.
there is no room for me to even make a U-turn if I really wanted to. So do you see some of the views from here? And you will see the mountain winery here in this area. You see the cloudy day today, uh, which is very uncharacteristic. And uh, the area is typically not like this. And summer, 1st of August. So that's even more remarkable. So I'm going to make a U-turn here. And I hope there is no car coming by my side. Ah, this is where I want, this is what I wanted to show you. Why people drive this much high to get to these properties. Just look at the view you're getting of the entire Silicon Valley. This entire Santa Clara County is visible from just some of these homes. So that little bit of pain, or I would say it's the thrill of, for those who enjoy the thrill of driving, this is for them to experience. scenic route and onto the left side is the Hakone Gardens. I am not going to go into Hakone Gardens just now. I will be doing a separate tour of Hakone Gardens as an attraction. But I am going to show you a couple of wineries in this areas, area. And Sardoga and Los Gatos, both the areas have multiple of these wineries. people generally go out there to enjoy these wineries. So we'll do the tour of wineries separately. Just now I'm going to turn around and uh, do the tour of the Saratoga downtown. Just after this area you will see a lot of trails. The Sandborn Trail is up here as we go forward um, on the left side are a couple um, event centers um, also on the left side as you go uh, further we just left that area actually is the Saratoga uh, village center and now we are going to start going into Saratoga downtown. The reason I came out this way just now is to give you a view of the entire Saratoga downtown. So Saratoga has a lot of events during the year. Um, they have like movie nights. They have the community fruit, fruit gathering at the orchard and a lot of homes in this particular area are very old, 
probably over a hundred years old because this area goes close to the downtown and on the right side you are seeing a townhome condominium community and this is a commercial small commercial strip very close to the downtown center I'm going to see if I can give you a view of this Wildwood Park um, in the downtown portion of Saratoga actually oh I got into the wrong side La Fondue is another Michelin star restaurant. So this is the view of the Saratoga downtown. For a very long time they did not even allow some big brand names to come and establish their restaurants here. And now we are going to turn to the south to get out of Saratoga and on towards Los Gatos.